Welcome Chroniclers to another episode of the Shotokan Chronicles. In today's video, JKA legend, Shihan Stan Schmidt. Before we start, please take a moment to, and subscribe to the channel. Click on the little bell so you never miss one of our videos. Stan Schmidt was the chief instructor of the South African branch of the Japan Karate Association and was known as the father of South African Karate. Schmidt was born on October the 6th, 1936 in Coxstead, Transke, South Africa. He was educated at King Edward VII High School and then studied at the University of South Africa where he obtained a master's degree in communications. He would start his martial arts training in Judo but would eventually practice Shotokan Karate. He is credited with formally introducing Karate to South Africa in the 1950s. Schmidt was introduced to Karate by his Judo instructor who gave him a copy of Master Nishiyama's book Karate, the Art of Empty Hand Fighting. Schmidt read the book while recovering from a broken ankle. He then began training himself at his Judo Dojo, and there he would encourage other Judica to join him, including uh, Norman Robinson, as well as others. Schmidt traveled to Japan along with his wife, Judy, during their honeymoon in 1963. While in Japan, Schmidt trained at the JKA headquarters. He would spar with then All Japan Grand Champion uh, Sensei Shira, who had won both Kata and Kumite at the 1962 tournament. Schmidt was only a seventh Q at the time. After his sparring match, the senior instructor, Sensei Noida, coached Schmidt privately, and a few months later, he was graded to the, to the rank of third Q, brown belt by Master Nakayama. Schmidt was also invited to train with the instructor's class, which Schmidt dubbed the Hornet's Nest due to the nature of the training. In 1964, Sensei Kase visited South Africa. The next year, in 1965, Schmidt and Robinson brought four Japanese instructors to South Africa. The returning Sensei Kase, Sensei Inoida, Sensei Kanazawa, and Sensei Shire, Shiri. These instructors stayed for six months from April to October 1965. Anoida stayed at Schmidt's house and trained him privately. Schmidt achieved his Shodan and then his Nidan under Sensei Kase. He also went on to become the first South African Karate Kumite champion. Anoida would eventually leave South Africa and head to the United Kingdom. In 1970, Sensei Schmidt, along with Norman Robinson and Ronnie Renshaw, were the only South Africans to be invited by Japan to participate in the inaugural Karate World Championships at which they competed for Japan. In the late 1980s, when Schmidt was training for his seventh dan in Japan, he spent time under the, under the tutelage of Master Asai. He went on to become the first non-Japanese karateka to attain the level of seventh dan from the Japan Karate Association and his has remained as the highest grade at Westerner in the organization and would be awarded his eighth Dan on February the 14th, 2015. Schmidt was the subject of an episode of SABC's People of the South, a talk show that focused on celebrating the lives of different personalities from Southern Africa to promote a sense of national identity and pride by reflecting on their achievements and acclamations. The episode featuring Schmidt was during the program's inaugural run from 1994 to 2002. Sensei Schmidt was featured numerous times in issues of Shotokan magazine, including being featured twice on the cover. An article about him also mentioned that he is an author and has written books on his personal experiences and philosophies of karate. In 1988, Sensei Schmidt wrote some columns for Fighting Arts International magazine. He also had a featured article in the September 2001 issue of Masters of Karate. Sensei Stan Schmidt was a South African master of karate, along with others such as Norman Robinson, and he was an early pioneer of the art form in South Africa. He would go on to establish the South African branch of the Japan Karate Association in 1965 after he returned from Japan. 
along with his subsequent promotion of the art of karate in South Africa, earning him the, the title of father of South African karate. In 1963, he was one of the first Westerners to be invited into the JKA's famous instructor class in Tokyo Humbu Dojo. He was later one of the four non-Japanese karateka to sit on the JKA's international Shihan Kai. He was also the first non-Japanese karateka to atta attain the seventh dan from the JKA and also the first to attain eighth dan. Today is the highest ranking non-Japanese karate master of the organization. He is also known for his acting roles in several martial arts films of the 1970s and the 1980s. He appeared in a number of films as a martial artist, including the 1976 Karate Killer, also known as Kill or Be Killed, <clears throat> and in the 1981 box office success, Kill and Kill Again. Schmidt and Norman Robinson choreographed the fight scenes in Kill and, in Kill, and Kill Again and featured in them as the main protagonist's companions, The Fly and Gypsy Billy, respectively with one commentator citing these karate scenes as the film's only commendation. On October the 7th, 2019, Master Stan Schmidt passed away. Sensei Schmidt is a very popular um, karate instructor. He is well known around the world, not just in South Africa. My personal introduction to him was through the movies um, Kill and Kill Again and Kill or Be Killed or is also known as The Karate Killer. Uh, these movies were really good from a martial arts standpoint. The story was was really bad. Um, one of them features Master Tanaka um, and some other pretty popular martial artists. But the storylines were, were again pretty poor. And I did do a review on these movies in my top 10 list. There's also a really good video on YouTube that um, is based out of the South African JKA and Stan Schmidt is obviously featured in it along with Norman Robinson and others. Um, you will have seen some clips of the video in my presentation here today. I will, I'll put a link to the full video in the description below. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Take a few minutes and visit The Great North Apparel. Use the coupon code SHOTOKAN for 30% off of your order. Also, visit the link on the, on the screen where you can purchase your very own The Shotokan Chronicles merchandise. Train hard, be safe, and we'll see you next time right here on The Shotokan Chronicles.